Hi everybody, it is uh, week 21 with my Flow Hive. It's hard to believe it's been that long, but uh, it's the middle of August now. Uh, started my beekeeping journey uh, back on March 19th, so it's been 21 weeks. Um, since it's August, there are three things that I definitely want to check for now in my uh, colony. One is to make sure I have a, a good laying queen. Two, I want to make sure that my bees have enough uh, honey stored. And three, I want to make sure that my uh, varroa mites are under control. Now, I had, uh, I had done a varroa mite treatment yesterday morning. Uh, I didn't videotape it because I did it at 7 o'clock, crack of dawn. There wasn't enough light. Um, but next week when I do my second treatment, uh, I'll videotape that. I'll, I'll, I'll get a little bit of a later start, and the field bees will just have to deal with me doing it. Um, but I wanted to show you what I use. Um, I do an oxalic acid vaporization treatment, so I use the Varox 12 volt 150 watt wand uh, tray. This uh, is really simple. It just slides right in the front entrance. Connect it to a battery, and I have a battery that my buddy Ryan made an awesome box for. I painted it up. It says Zap because that's what we're doing. But it just has a 12 volt lawnmower battery in it, and I use uh, my oxalic acid is actually uh, wood bleach, but you'll see it says what it is right here. So I'll uh, I'll show you a video of that next week. Um, and then of course um, when I go out there and check for food, if they don't have enough food, I've been putting feed to them, uh, so they should have enough stored. Uh, but the goldenrod is coming in right now. It's beautiful. There's about eight acres of it uh, back behind my house. Um, but that's what I'm going to do today. Check for a good laying queen. Check for food stores. I already did my mite treatment, but you should be treating for mites now. Um, you don't have to use oxalic acid, obviously. There are a lot of miticides out there that you can use. Uh, there are other acids. There's formic acid. Uh, there's thymol treatments. And then the different uh, uh, pesticides. I don't really want to use the pesticides at all. I don't think that uh, the mites can build up a resistance to oxalic acid, whereas with a pesticide that's, say, 95% effective, the 5% that lives are the ones that are re already naturally resistant to the pesticide, so those are the only ones left to breed. So I would think that uh, you could create your own little uh, epidemic of super strong varroa mites, and I don't want to do that. All right, it's up to the hive time. All right, so step number one. Check for evidence of a laying queen. But all I want to do is make sure that they've got, I need one, evidence of a laying queen, two, food stores. So let's check for both of these up in the top brood box. You know, my buddy that was here. My buddy Ryan was here yesterday helping me with my oxalic acid vape treatment and uh, he remarked at how gentle my bees were. I don't know how y'all's bees are. And I don't know exactly what mean bees are like. Because all I have to go on are what's in my apiary, but if he says they're gentle, then they're gentle. Yeah, that's, that's all food. Plenty of food stores in this frame. There's another one there. This would be about, uh, got to figure about five pounds of frame. Set this over here. Check for some more. Feels kind of heavy. That one's full of probably sugar water. You see, it's all capped on this side. So far, happy bees. Pardon me, ma'am. Hopefully as I get towards the center, I'll see a little bit of brood, and I do. I 
all cap brood and larva here. Everything on this side is capped. Again, this is all nectar and cap brood. No visual on the queen yet. Man, that's heavy. Cat brood and larva again. Giving them a little puff to move them, see if I can spot the eggs. Do see some eggs. All right. There's a big old drone. While I'm in here, I'm going to check this trap. Here it is. One small hive beetle in there. See him right here? It's doing what it's supposed to do. I can see that this is a full frame of food. So we had one, two, three. You know what? I'm betting this one's good with food. So I've got evidence of a laying queen and I've checked my food stores. And it seems to be going well. Want to go in the bottom box? They're a little perturbed, so I'll close them back up. Everybody's bumping me. Okay, that's it. So we checked for evidence of a laying queen. Um, we checked food stores. They seem to be storing plenty. Uh, and then um, the third thing you'd want to do in August is do your uh, varroa mite treatments. And uh, I'll make a video on that next week. I did uh, an oxalic acid vape, like I said, yesterday morning. Um, but that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, subscribe. You'll see when I, I try to do a video every week, but uh, sometimes I'm not successful with that. But anyway, see you later.